morning to everybody. Of course, sad news out. Now, listen, the reputation of the Australian Tax Office is right now under close scrutiny. This comes after allegations. Its top investigator, Michael Cranston, a deputy commissioner, sought to help his son Adam, alleged to be a ringleader and one of the biggest tax frauds ever attempted in this nation's history. Now, the tax commissioner, Chris Jordan, fronted a Senate Estimates Committee yesterday to assure people that the tax office is sound. But, under questioning from National Senator John Williams, he raised another sorry chapter from tax tax office history. He seemed to infer that actor Paul Hogan paid tens of millions of dollars to avoid criminal prosecution. Now, this came after an interview I did last week with Hogan's lawyer because it was Michael Cranston, the man now facing charges, who pursued Hogan. Remember, Hogan, who lived in the US, was banned from leaving Australia after a return to attend his mother's funeral. Jordan said the claims that Hogan was exonerated and paid little or no tax as a settlement were wrong. Have a listen to this. And the settlement, did Hogan make payments to the ATO? Yes or no? Now, all I'll say is, is in a general comment, if people aren't taken to court and charged, doesn't mean substantial amounts of money weren't paid to settle issues. Now, it went further. The sum of tens of millions of dollars was mentioned. Now, this was under parliamentary privilege, remember, but it was a highly confidential settlement. Now, last night, I spoke with Paul Hogan on radio and he came out swinging. Um, so I didn't pay them off, and I certainly didn't pay them tens of millions so that they would just, uh, like, let me go without sending me to jail. I'd have been quite happy to go to court. Another thing he said last night, he spent five years with the tax office looking up his coit. They found nothing, he said. Now, this is not the end of the matter, as I understand it. This committee is now considering, in secrecy and under parliamentary privilege, seeking that tax settlement to see who's right. Hogan? Or Chris Jordan. Now, the tax commissioner, who's just been re-signed for another five years, might find that his job rests on the outcome. The Dow Jones down 50, dollar 75.68 US cents. Carl, Lisa, 